Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Dempster, and I'm coming to you from my backyard. We want to welcome everybody to this edition of Play Ball at Home presented by Scott's. Well, this Saturday we have a special guest, Toronto Blue Jays shortstop, Bo Bichette. I traveled down to the Bahamas earlier this year and had a chance to catch up with a stud shortstop. Let's see what he's doing now. Well, hey, Bo, great to see you, man. I haven't seen you since the Bahamas when we were down there for the uh, Don't Blink Home Run Derby. Um, things have changed quite a bit since then. How are you doing? How are you holding up during all of this? Man, I'm doing all right. You know, I definitely want to be playing, you know, the sport we all grew up to, you know, grow up dreaming about. But, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a facility to myself and gym and cages and stuff. So I'm still be able to stay in shape and get my work in. So I'm definitely going to be worse. And we're not able to play real baseball right now, but you are playing MLB The Show, representing the Blue Jays and that. What's that been like competing against these other guys? Man, it's been so much fun. I mean, when they first approached me about it, um, you know, I thought, okay, cool. We'll give the fans something to engage in, but it's definitely turned into a lot more than that. Um, a lot of competitive juices flowing, man. It's uh, it's definitely really fun. It's, it's, been, um, it's been cool to have some sort of adrenaline going on, you know, while we're not playing, but it's been a blast. Yeah, there's some serious bragging rights on the line for sure with guys around the league. Oh yeah, man, it's uh, it, it's definitely intense. I I hope I can I can do all right. Um, you know, you've been playing, you've been doing well. Any advice for young kids out there? Do you have a little routine that you do? Do you have a special cheat code? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's pretty realistic in terms of uh, pitching and hitting. Like, you kind of got to take it like a real at bat, man. Uh, when I'm in there, I'm like, I'm sitting there trying to make sure that the inside pitch doesn't make me cheat for it and doesn't make me give away the outside half. And, um, you know, pitching, I'm trying to make sure I establish the inside part of the plate and everything like that. So um, it's been pretty interesting. It's definitely, definitely just, you know, take, I think you can actually learn from it. So, uh, you know, try and try and figure out what works for you in that game and, and see if it translates in the real world. So like when you face the Dodgers and Kershaw's throwing, you're like, sweet, throw me that breaking ball again? <laughs> No, I didn't hit his breaking ball. I hit his slider, so uh, I still I still got to get the breaking ball. But um, no, I mean it's uh, it's all fun, man. And uh, definitely though, you you got to be locked in to, to play well. Now we had you mic'd up for the home run derby in the Bahamas, and we caught this great exchange with you and a young fan. Let's check it out on a sneak peek at this Saturday's play ball, presented by Scotts. How'd you get back here? Well, I hopped over the fence. You hopped over the fence? Yeah, we had to kill it. Hey, the video, just heard you say that. Really? Yeah, bro, look at this. I'm with you. Look, I got the mic. They just heard you say that. Yeah, I got it. You won't get in trouble now. Nah, nah, you good, you good, you good. How old are you right now? I'm 13. So in three years? Three years, you'll be 16. You my son in three years. Yeah. Yeah, dang, man. You gonna be hitting this when you're 17? I drive. Smooth, you want to be in the field. Smooth as you. Smooth as me. Ground ball. Bichette backhand throws on the run. And what a play! That's as good as it gets. You already smoother than me, bro. Come on. Come on. I just hit. I don't feel. I hit. This is gonna go. Home run ball. Bichette. When he swings, there's just carry on his balls to the outfield. I can show you video right now. You show me video right now? Of what? Oh, that, that was a nasty play. Yeah, I know. Line to short. Short hop by Bichette. Fire across. What a play. Bo Bichette, an amazing play on a short hop to his right. Another dazzling play by Bo Bichette. He has been sensational defensively as well as offensively. I, I fly on the pitch, so you know I'm going to be striking you out. You want to be striking me out? Yes, sir. You want to be a pitcher? No, nah, you ain't striking me out. Come on. Uh, how, how, how did it feel to hit against Clayton Kershaw? Clayton Kershaw? Yeah. Clayton Kershaw is a legend, man. Swing another drive. You can forget it. That ball is into the California night and way out of here. I just got lucky. I just got lucky. What an arrival. It continues for Bulbashet, a multi-homer game. So basically, it was funny because we kind of developed this sort of chemistry while we were doing the, the um, camp. Um, you know, he was doing field and stuff and and uh, telling me how smooth he is and telling me he wants to be as smooth as me and, and stuff like that. So we were just having fun and and when he uh, when he jumped the fence to come talk to me, um, you know, I recognized him and that's where that came from is talking about how smooth he is in the field. 
you know how smooth I am or whatever and uh it, it was fun man he uh he was a blast um talk your head off you know definitely got some sort of charisma going on there so hopefully hopefully in the future I get to face him and, and see if he'll strike me out yeah heck yeah well and then too he said you know like you said where you're gonna be a pitcher he says no I'm gonna make that backhand and play on you that that's sick <laughs> oh we saw there that was I love seeing that out of a kid man to have that kind of enthusiasm and that much confidence good for him yeah, no doubt, man. You gotta you gotta chase your dreams and believe you can do it. So, uh, you know, definitely, you know, there's more to it, and there's more things you're gonna learn as you get older and, and get you know learn how to prepare and be a professional and all of that. But um, definitely to have that sort of confidence and belief in yourself at a young age is huge. Well, sweet. Well, he was fun. A young fan who was out there, um, you know, having some fun with you and, and picking your brain, getting a little bit of advice. So. We have some other young fans. Are you cool taking some questions from, from some people out there? Yeah, let's do it. Our first question is from at VA Jake 23. And Jake wants to know, and you can't include your dad here because we all know our dad's our favorite player. Who was your favorite player growing up? No Mar Garcia Parra, man. Um, it, he, he was my guy growing up. My dad played with him for a couple years, I think, at the end of his career. Um, and funny story, actually, when I was when I was young, when I was in kindergarten, you know, Nomar was my guy, so we had to write a book about someone you look up to. So I chose Nomar and uh, wrote a little book. The the spelling wasn't very good, anything like that. Pictures I wrote in there wasn't very good. But um, the cool part about this story was my parents flew me up to Boston. I went in the clubhouse and I gave him the book, and he read it. Um, and so at that point, it was pretty cool for me. And then obviously when I was in LA, you know, Nomar does some stuff out there. And, uh, you know, he called me over while I was taking ground balls. And I was like, I, right away, I looked over, I said, oh man, that's Nomar. And I stopped my ground ball, stopped everything, went and made, went and made sure I said hi. Uh, you know, we actually talked about that moment. So it was pretty cool. Next is from at Jake Besick. His question is, what are some hitting drills that you can do at home? You know, I think actually, I mean, if you have the tools, obviously, if your parents are willing to get you the tools to, to practice in, like in the garage or whatever, but really the T, I mean, it's not that difficult. The T is huge. Um, you know, you can find out a lot about your swing off the T, so you should be able to square up the majority of the balls off the T, so go in there and just figure out how to do that. All right, one more question here this is from at Declan S11. And Declan wants to know, what's your favorite moment from your baseball playing career so far? You know, the one that comes to mind probably is when my first game in Toronto. Um, you know, I was able to get a hold of one um, against the Yankees, a homer. And then later in the game, I was able to hit a double to right center and, and break a major league record. So, um, you know, at the time, I don't think it really set in. I was telling somebody this story the other day. Is when it really set in was when I got home and, and started to realize it wasn't a rookie record. It was like literally nobody in baseball has ever done this. And then on top of that, my dad, you know, like, oh man, you you passed Ted Williams. Like, you know what that, like, that's Ted Williams, man. And uh, that's kind of when I started to realize that I did something special because my dad was so pumped about it. So I, w I would definitely go with that one. Well, good for you, man. And I really had a great time catching up with you down in the Bahamas. And wish you the, the best of luck in this upcoming season when we finally are able to get out there and get some baseball played. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, no, man, thank you for having me. That's it for this week's Play Ball at Home presented by Scott's. Remember, you can cheer on Bo in the MLB The Show Players League by following him at twitch.com slash bowfloats. And check out his competition, that's right, the other players, at mlb.com slash players league. Bo and I will see you this Saturday morning on MLB Network. Until then, stay safe and keep playing ball.